When did you kind of know, I want to do this, I want to perform, I want to be on stage? And In college, I was definitely uh, engaged in theater, but it wasn't what I thought I was going to do. Once I went to South Africa for study abroad, that's when I realized I, I want to tell African stories from an African perspective. And it was not long after apartheid ended. I need to really crack that open for myself. What is this country that was right next door yeah. all those years and I couldn't go near it? My white classmates would go and come back with all types of goodies. Right, they'd something. go see Table Mountain and they'd... Yeah, and they, South Africa, you know, it's always had like, it's, in, it's industrial stuff is like on point, it's infrastructure is amazing. So they'd come back with all types of things you can't get in Zim, right. um, like candies and like cool stuff, like their pencil cases for their like school, you know, all that stupid stuff. But as a kid, you're like, man, we don't get those here, you know, and I can't go to that country and you get had them envy myself. For, yeah. yeah, but it's just like it was just that as part of that separation because as black people we could not go and shop in South Africa. And it was weird. And I was like, I gotta go investigate that country. I've never been and I need to understand it now that I'm in college and I get an opportunity to study things. And so I went and and I wanted to study to go to their Durban program, which was all about political stuff. And then that program was full. And they and they said you have to do the Cape Town program, which is arts and social change. I'm like, oh, what? No. <laughs> you know, I just didn't think it was going to be rigorous enough. Arts? You were serious. Yeah. I wanted to get into the, the depths of, of all the political, you know, stuff going on and what, you know, how, you, how it broke down from apartheid to now. And yeah. I was like, arts and social change. Oh, come on. And so I go and do this and then I get to meet all these amazing artists. They were poets, they were photographers, they were actors who would use their art, specifically in the theater, you know, to change the landscape of how the world could no longer ignore what was happening um, in South Africa. That really, the, those guys, they, it just hit me so hard studying them and learning about them. Then I realized your passion, Danai, is obviously in the arts.